For over 70 years, she devoted her life to her country, steadfast through triumph and tragedy. Queen Elizabeth II died peacefully at her Scottish castle, Balmoral. She was 96 years old. She leaves behind her family, a nation, and much of the world in mourning. Shocked. I can't believe it. I'm gutted. Absolutely gutted. It shocked me. It just made me I felt a shiver go down my spine. The notice of her death posted on the gates of Buckingham Palace. It was a day the country has long dreaded. You kind of always knew it was coming, but, you, but when it happens, it's just sad. Somber crowds gathering outside Buckingham Palace in the rain, leaving flowers at the gates. I was just compelled to come here. Um, she just means so much to this country. The flag lowered to half staff. And as Britain paused, rainbows stretched across the sky. The monarch has been a constant presence in the lives of millions and was a living part of history. Her face on money in Great Britain, across the Commonwealth, the national anthem of the United Kingdom sung in her honor, God Save the Queen. I think the same shock and, and sense of disbelief that was here today will, will still be here for some time. Even people who didn't know the Queen, I think many people felt they had a personal connection with her. She was one of my favorite people in the world, and I will miss her so. Tonight, tributes to the Queen pouring in from world leaders, the Pope, and all of the living former presidents she met with, including Donald Trump, Barack Obama, and Bill Clinton. And President Biden signing the condolence book at the British Embassy in Washington. At 73, Her Majesty's eldest son, now King Charles III, released this statement saying, The death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all members of my family. We mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much-loved mother. But I think it's that sense of duty of being a public servant for all of that time, to put herself, to put herself second and to put the, the people and her family and the, her country first. The announcement of the Queen's death came just hours after the palace released a rare statement saying doctors were, quote, concerned for Her Majesty's health. Her family racing to the matriarch's side, Charles arriving first by helicopter. Other members of the royal family flying into a foggy Aberdeen airport in Scotland. Prince William spotted driving his uncles, Andrew and Edward, and Prince Edward's wife, Sophie, to the castle. After the official announcement had been made, Prince Harry arrived alone. This is a moment of personal grief as a family. This is their mother, their grandmother, their great-grandmother, but also they are very aware of their public positions at a time like this and the roles that they will play in this plan that is going to be executed, and they all have their part to play in that as well. Even to the end, the Queen was committed to performing her duties. Just two days ago, in the Queen's last official photos, inviting Great Britain's new Prime Minister, Liz Truss, to form a government her 15th time bestowing such an honor. It's particularly poignant that she was able to do what she wanted, which was to fulfill her duties right up until the end. That is exactly how she wanted it to be. The death of Her Majesty the Queen is a huge shock to the nation and to the world. Queen Elizabeth II was the rock on which modern Britain was built. The Queen celebrating 70 years on the throne this past summer at the Platinum Jubilee. Charles expressing gratitude on behalf of the British people. Your Majesty, Mummy. The scale of this evening's celebration and the outpouring of warmth and affection over this whole Jubilee weekend is our way of saying thank you. At her jubilee, the Queen sat down for tea with British icon Paddington Bear. Perhaps you would like a marmalade sandwich. I always eat one for emergencies. So do I. I keep mine in here. Oh. For later. Today, Paddington tweeting, thank you, ma'am, for everything. She was born in 1926 and never expected to become queen. As a little girl, she couldn't pronounce her own name, calling herself Lilibet. Then her uncle, the playboy King Edward VIII, abdicated the throne to marry an American divorcee. Her father was left to ascend as King George VI, and the young Elizabeth was suddenly next in line for the throne. I declare before you all that my whole life 
whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. During World War II, the princess did her duty. She was a driver and mechanic on the home front, and she fell in love in those years to a handsome prince, the swashbuckling Navy Lieutenant Philip Mountbatten. Take thee, Philip. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. They married in 1947. In 1952, the young couple was on a royal trip to Kenya, then climbed up into a treehouse where they would spend the night. But overnight, her father died. When she came down the next morning, she was queen at age 25. Her coronation was an international sensation, the first one ever televised. Queen Elizabeth reigned through 14 American presidents, dancing with Gerald Ford, watching a ball game with George H.W. Bush, even giving First Lady Michelle Obama a quick hug. The years brought their ups and downs. The wedding of Prince Charles and Diana at first seemed to be a highlight, but when that marriage collapsed so scandalously, many Britons began to doubt the relevance of the monarchy itself. In 1997, when Diana was killed in a car crash in Paris, Elizabeth stayed in Scotland with her family. As waves of grief rolled over Britain, the Queen was seen by some as unsympathetic, and public anger at the royal family reached a fever pitch. Then she returned to join her people in mourning. What I say to you now, as your queen and as a grandmother, I say from my heart. First, I want to pay tribute to Diana myself. She was an exceptional and gifted human being. As monarch, Elizabeth maintained tradition, yet moved just enough with the times. Good evening, Miss Good evening, Your Majesty. Who can forget her appearance alongside 007 Daniel Craig at the London Olympics in 2012? She was a woman with quirks and passions, delighting in driving herself and raising her numerous corgis, a love of horses and racing. And while she prized dignity and embodied the British stiff upper lip, her family knew a different side. If you do ever have problems, you can share them with her and she will listen and she will try and help. Um, but otherwise, she sort of lets you get on with your own life and, and carve your own path. Towards the end of her life as COVID ravaged the globe, she showed that compassion to the British people. We should take comfort that while we may have more still to endure, better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. But perhaps her greatest loss in 2021, the rock of her own life, her husband, Prince Philip, died. Her closest confidant and advisor, their marriage was an enduring partnership a sentiment she shared on their 50th wedding anniversary. All too often, I fear Prince Philip has had to listen to me speaking. But he has quite simply been my strength and stay all these years. 73 years of marriage spent side by side. At his funeral, the poignant images of the Queen, and due to COVID protocols, seated alone. Now as her son King Charles begins his reign, a nation will mourn their Queen. And after 10 days, she will be laid to rest privately on the grounds of Windsor Castle, next to her beloved husband, Prince Philip. Tonight, the nation and world, remembering what the Queen said all those years ago. I shall not have strength to carry out this resolution alone unless you join in it with me. God help me to make good my vow. And God bless all of you who are willing to share in it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.